Hey everybody, welcome to Pelvic Floor Saturday. If you are new here, my name is Jen Shark. I am a biohacking certified nurse midwife. On my channel on Saturdays, you will find pelvic floor exercises like these ones. And on Wednesdays, you will find midlife biohack. So if you are a midlife woman like me, you might find this stuff interesting. If you are a new mom or a midlife woman or for whatever reason have pelvic floor dysfunction, you also may find some of this interesting. So if one or both of those topics is an interesting topic to you, please hit the subscribe button and tell your friends because the more pelvic floor dysfunction that we can improve with simple free exercises, the happier I will be. So please, please, please share with anyone who might need it. Today, we're gonna focus on planks. Everybody hates planks, but for the next two weeks after this, a plank is going to be an essential part of the exercise. So I am going to give you three basic planks depending on your core strength. And we're just gonna go over form and breath and using your contraction in the pelvic floor and your transverse abdominis to help keep you stable during the plank. So go ahead, grab your yoga mat or just get set up and let's get started. Everyone seems to hate planks in some form or another, but they can be really, really beneficial for the pelvic floor. The only caveat I want to give you guys about planks, especially if you are postpartum, is to make sure that you have the diastasis between your rectus muscles in your abdomen evaluated by your healthcare provider. They should be two centimeters or two fingers or closer to be able to do a plank. If they're any wider than that, you will need to do some exercises to pull them together. And if that's something that you would like me to review, I definitely have several exercises that can be really helpful for that. So just comment down below so that I know that that's something that interests you. Just say, please, yes rectus abdominis or DR exercises, and I will put some of those together as well for you guys. So to start with, if you have a diastasis rectus of two centimeters or less, come on and do these exercises with me now. So let's start on our tummies. Can you tell them a mom? So we're just lying on our bellies. We're gonna put our hands underneath our shoulder blades here, and I just have my head turned towards the camera so that the mic will actually catch my voice, but you know, you can have your head straight down like this, okay, if you need to. So I'm gonna put my head down, and we're just gonna come up onto all fours. And as you can see here, I'm not in that regular tabletop position. My knees are actually behind my hips and I'm leaning forward onto my arms. So the one thing I do want to do is adjust my arms a little bit here so that my wrists are underneath my shoulders. And I don't want them to be out here because that's going to put too much pressure in my wrists. So I want them right underneath my shoulders and I'm going to just press into my fingertips which will also take some of the pressure out of my wrists and push up into my shoulders. And this is a basic beginner's plank. You start by just holding it for five seconds. And what you want to do over time is hold it for 30 seconds and then eventually a minute. Once you can hold this plank position for a minute, the next advancement is to cross your knees, or rather cross your feet, and come up onto your knees. You may have to, at this point, adjust out a little bit because we want to keep our shoulders over our wrists. Again, you'll start with this one for about five seconds and move on to a minute. So this is the kind of intermediate. Next, we are going to do a full plank. So to do your full plank, let's see if I can get my whole body into the, into the frame here without cutting off my head. Feet, toes under, feet about hip width apart. Come forward. Okay, my head's cut off, but you get, you basically get the idea here. 
And the same, you want to make sure, I'm gonna work it until your wrists are underneath your shoulders. And your this whole time, I mean, the main thing you should be feeling with all three of these iterations is the contraction of your transverse abdominis. And once you can hold this one for a minute, you probably will have no more complaints. So there's your basic plank. I know the angles on this camera kind of can make it look a little odd, so hopefully it's good enough that you can get that feeling of what the plank is supposed to look like. Tur you know, you put your phone on selfie mode and just like have your video camera on without actually recording yourself so that you can kind of see, make sure you get that nice flat back, make sure that your wrists are over your shoulders and you'll get that good form in. And just don't forget to breathe. And every time you breathe out to contract your transverse abdominis, and you'll probably feel a little lifting in the pelvic floor too. It becomes kind of natural with this to be able to hold it. So this is going to lead on into our next two weeks and to our next two exercises. And hopefully this is gonna bring you even closer to continence if you're not there already. And if you're there already and are just using these to kind of shore up your, your core and your pelvic floor, stick with me. We'll get through it all together. So have a great Saturday, everyone. I will see you next week. And if you are coming back for our midlife biohacks, I will see you on Wednesday. Bye.